Hello, I'm Dr. Michel Macaroon and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing on aneurysm surgery. Open surgery has been the mainstay of treatment for abdominal aneurysms for nearly 60 years. The procedure involves the replacement of the weakened portion of the aorta with a synthetic graft sutured to normal arteries above and below the aneurysm. Typically, the graft is a tube sutured on the top near the arteries that supply the kidneys with blood and on the bottom where the aorta divides into the arteries that direct the blood toward the legs. When those arteries are involved with the aneurysm, a reversed Y-shaped graft is used to reach the normal arteries below that level. Since the aneurysm and aorta are open during the operation, special vascular clamps are used to stop the flow of blood temporarily while the graft is sutured in place. The small branches of the aneurysm are closed with sutures to prevent any back bleeding. The aneurysm wall is not excised and removed from the body, but is closed over the new surgical graft to separate it from the abdominal contents and prevent late complications. Because open repair is a significant operation, a detailed evaluation of heart and lung function may be required before scheduling the procedure. The operation is performed through an incision in the midline of the abdomen or in the left flank and lasts about two or three hours. Hospital stays average five or six days and the recovery phase four to six weeks. When performed by experienced vascular surgeons, the mortality of the procedure is under 5% and the complication rate is relatively low. The repair is very durable and usually lasts a lifetime. Repeat operations are only needed for new remote aneurysms or late complications such as infections or blockage of the graft. Endovascular repair of aneurysms or EVAR uses similar grafts delivered from inside the arteries of the groin and secures them to normal arteries above and below the aneurysm with stents. EVAR has a lower early complication rate and has replaced open surgery in nearly half the patients who need treatment, especially those who cannot tolerate the open procedure. However, because of anatomic limitations of EVAR, such as small arteries or short normal aorta below the arteries of the kidneys, many patients still require the open surgical procedures, which allow for treatment of aneurysms no matter what the extent of the aneurysm is. The open procedure is also still favored by many vascular surgeons for younger and healthier patients because of its documented long-term durability. The requirement for follow-up and imaging is less with the open procedure and is recommended at least once every three to five years to detect new aneurysms that require treatment. Aneurysm surgery remains a safe and dependable method to treat aneurysms, especially in the hands of trained and experienced vascular surgeons. This briefing is made possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about aneurysm surgery, visit vascularweb.org.